the next step we're going to do, we're going to intersect a line and a plane. And our line equal so our point will be eight thirds zero one. Slope will be two negative two one times t, so that's our line. Our plane we use for this. Three x plus two y plus six z equals six. All right. It may not be obvious how to intersect these written in this form, but what I'm going to do is write out the parametric equations for the line. So let's write it in parameterized form in a single equation. So we have 8 thirds plus 2t, that's our x, 0 minus 2t for the y, and then 1 plus t for z. And I'll just write exactly what I said. X equals 8 thirds plus 2t. Y equals negative 2t. Z equals 1 plus t. Now, maybe a little bit more clear what we should do. We need to find a common solution to these equations. Of course, there's t's on the equations on the right and no t's on the left. So what we're going to do is take what we have for x, plug it in for x. Take what we have for y, plug it in for y. And then what we have for z, plug it in for z. And then solve for t. So we have 3 times 8 thirds plus 2t plus 2y and negative 2t. So 6 times 1 plus t equals 6. So distribute 8 plus 6t minus 4t plus 6 plus 6t equals 6. All right, from here I'll subtract 6 on both sides. That'll cancel, cancel. And the only constant I've left is 8. Let's bring that to the right side. There's negative 8. How many t's do we have? 6 minus 4 is 2, plus 6 is 8t. Look at this. t equals negative 1. All right, t equals negative 1 is not the intersection. What that is is the t value the line L has when it intersects the plane. So I have to turn this time value, this t value, into a point, and we do so with the L of t equation up there. I'll use the vector form of 8 thirds plus 2 times negative 1, comma, negative 2 times negative 1, comma, 1 plus negative 1. O fractions, so we have 8 thirds minus 6 thirds, which is 2 thirds, positive to 0. And that will be the intersection right there. If you want a visual for this, here is your plane. The line, I'm going to cut through. All we had to do was find the t value where it intersects.